And that's what they call me I promise that you never be alone Oh hey! What's good YouTube? It's your boy AT King. I go by the name of Andy So Tabiso and guys I welcome you to the AT King family guys. Okay, I'm doing my first video and it's a reaction video on Ricardo and Bontle Moloi guys. Yes guys, uh, as I encourage you guys to go and subscribe to their channel on their YouTube channel The Kamoloi and follow them on Twitter and on Instagram guys. Okay guys, uh, this is my first video and I hope you enjoy my reaction guys. And yes guys, don't forget to comment like subscribe and turn on the notification guys so that you can see any new videos that i'll be posting guys let's get it hey guys let's get it okay guys you're gonna forgive me if the camera quality is not that good okay uh, but we're gonna hang in there we're gonna hang in there <coughs> yeah. let's get this video started <coughs> You know, something about this couple, you know, they have that vibe, you know. In Zulu, they say, Unali umf. Unali umf. Yes, guys. Yo! It's quarantine time, guys, you know. You know, stay safe. Coronavirus, you know, the pandemic striking lives guys so let's save lives and protect ourselves too guys hey, yo. <laughs> okay okay i love this song guys okay this song is still a hit till today i mean this song is so dope guys we have to go and download it <laughs> Look at the dude doing the thing, guys. <laughs> like they have the thing in common, you know, husband and wife. You know? So the same feathers, they fly together. You see what's happening right now. If you haven't checked it out, Rick J, something new dropped about a year ago. Uh, thank you to everyone who showed Rick J some support. Um, a new Rick J project dropping very, very soon, but we're not really here to discuss that. Okay, guys, I'm sort of um, um, moving the welcome, camera. So. Everybody. So mm. there has been a demand for something, a reality show, a channel, yeah. something from the collective that is us. Um, but we really just want to take the opportunity to, I guess, have conversations that people might have wanted to have listened in, into. Get yeah, I think it's a good thing, guys, you know, like these people, they're so young and they're married and, you know, Especially the youth, they look up to them. So sometimes, you know, they have to like open up to people that follow them. You know, yeah, I think it's a good thing they're doing this. Get into our minds, get into our headspace, kind of figured out how we've done this ten, no, eleven year stint. What? Yo, Ebana, this is so amazing, ne? Yeah. Hey, do you know that there are some marriages that don't even last three months? Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's been a, it's Dating been a and then married. That's good. <laughs> like two two years. Yeah. From like the time I was like sixteen. Um wow. and yeah, into 
I'm a chick, I love a chick, yeah, you know what I mean, uh, a young pretty lady asked me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, let's check back. Let's check, we're checking way back. Wait, let's go way, way, way back. <laughs> way, way, way back to when we met. Okay, well, how we met, Father, and how that whole thing happened. So, I find it fascinating. So, yeah. That's the thing I wanted to know exactly how they met, you know, because they seem to be a good match, okay, uh, their characteristics, you know, the things they do, the things they love to do, they're just common, so, yeah, take us back, let's get it. But, um, Godly, um, if you think of the nature of the events, what happened, some unfortunate, um, others to bring about a very fortunate situation, um, but yeah, I don't know, let's start by Let me here. break it down, let me break it down, just to give an introduction, I go by the name of Ricardo Muloi, aka Pretty Ugly, if you've never seen this brood, <laughs> and this is my beautiful wife, Bunte Muloi, yeah. yes sir, and um, cool, so back when I was 16, uh, I should want to mention years, I, I'm going to get the years wrong. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Years. Like when I was 16, um, I was in a relationship with another girl. Her name was... Okay, Sarah, okay. Her sister soul, she passed away. Oh. And um, about a week and a half, two weeks after Larato passed away, um, I was watching Chiga Ma Chiga at my grandmother's house and so it with my younger sister. The episode I want hey, to make this very clear. In that episode, yeah. it was laryngitis. And dot com. I beat both. Yeah, Thanks. she played she played video. She played video. <laughs> um, yeah, and that was the first time I seen her and ironically enough I'd heard about her from school. They were like, yo, apparently there's this like you know, this dancer chick her name is Bunte Moody Sella, she goes to <laughs> Okay. So my dude had rumors, you know, about the dancing chick, you know. Hey. Okay. Macaulay girl, then she's like beautiful, she's an amazing dancer. And uh, I still hadn't seen her, you know, I'd heard about her. And um, yeah, watching Jiga Machiga. And. Phew, guys, if you remember Jiga Machiga, I. The dancing show was good, guys. That's amazing that, you know, most of the people don't know Jiga Machiga. But it, it was a hit back in the days. I was still young, watching Jiga Machiga. Oh, Jiga Machiga. Damn, I was like, damn, this girl's cute as fuck. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's God ain't you. And fast forward to a few days after that, or a few weeks after that, mm -hmm. um, I attended an event. Yes. So there was Masters of Rhythm. You know, back in the day we had Masters of Yo. Rhythm. It was popping. <laughs> this particular <laughs> one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> because this guy was crump king. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, the first official like crump king in this mm -hmm. country. Um, but mm. yeah, so Masters of Rhythm uh, was taking place and I really, really wanted to go there because I heard that she was going to be there. So I had a homegirl named Michelle and she was like, yo, my boyfriend is going to be performing at Masters of Rhythm. I got an extra ticket. Do you want a ride? And she just moved into our neighborhood and I was like, hell yeah, I'd like a ride. Her mom dropped us off. And the whole time I was there, like sitting with this girl, Michelle, like, the only girl I could look at the whole entire time was this girl surrounded by like so they many brooms. <laughs> you know, the story sounds like a movie, you know. If you watch movies, you know that uh, the most untouchable girl, you know, is always far away, is always at a distance. Okay, you cannot contact her easily. You know, I feel like the story is like a movie, okay. You know, they should write a movie about this, you know. We'll watch it. That's an idea. Come on, Loi. <laughs> if you guys know the record yeah, yeah. back in the day, it was like niggas on niggas yeah. on niggas on niggas. Niggas, that's gross. <laughs> and it was just like this pretty girl, you know, walking in the midst of them. And I was like, oh man, that girl's beautiful. I uh, didn't have the heart to get her name, I mean, to get her number or to speak to her on that day. Um, yeah. But there was like several hip hop events that happened afterwards where I eventually um, was able to like meet her. But even in between that, I hustled, I hustled her number. Yes. Because her mixed number or whatever <laughs> we had on mixed. 
Yeah, must work hard. In order to live good, must work hard. <laughs> tough times never last. Only tough people last. Oh, the number of the the phones. Phones. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, number. Number. yeah. So I'm, I hustled her number, uh, and I got like a friend of mine. You kind of you mix it. You mix the name. Uh, I, I changed his mix it name to Chippy, but it wasn't that though. I think it was Rich Boy or something. Yeah, it was probably like Rich Boy. I don't remember what I was Mine was fresh to death. She was fresh to death. And just backtracking a little bit. So the Les calls himself fresh to death. You know what I mean? We didn't talk about this. And her and the Les used to, they knew each other back in the day. Because I used to dance for Josie. Yeah, I mean, and um, he probably added her on Mixed It, and so her name was Fresh to Death. And like, now that Liz calls himself Fresh to Death, not now, but I mean, I'm just saying, saying. Liz might not remember the story, but hey, no, 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 no. it's a complete day. Like, you know, soften her up. And it was like, to me, it wasn't like I was in that type of guy. Like, now look what I Look, I was in the pros, girls. Everyone knew that. I approached no girls. I was very shy when it came to females, and I just lost a partner. So the last thing I wanted to be doing was like, you know, hitting up a girl in her DMs before there were DMs. You know? Yeah. But that happened, and I got her numbers, and we linked up. We'd see each other at events. We became friends. We chat yeah. over the years. A lot of Foundation. chatting. A lot of. And she had like different boy. Foundation guys. Friendship. And then, friends, like different boyfriends, and like, so funny, like and now the guy, it was literally calling years, and like, it was like they were gang boyfriends. Yeah, now nah, you know we're young, you know we're we're still we're still youth, and we're you know so we never dated. <laughs> we're still youth. Yeah, we're still youth. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, we're still trying to figure we it were, out. We were, we were. I um, jeez, Louise. Okay, so. Naturally, he saw me before I had met him, but I knew of him, and um, I was a part of the reps at the time. And uh, myself and the girls who were part of the rep, reps used to spaz over this. Oh, uh, yeah! I was just like, oh, who is this guy? Now I didn't have any. Um, <laughs> no, people in between are not lucky. You say they are lucky. I didn't have the courage to ever approach him. I didn't think I, I was genuinely confident in the idea and the notion that he was entirely out of my league. Okay, I came from a very humble home, um, you know. So how we dressed was quite humble. He was never cool. I didn't have the Ed Hardys of the time. I didn't have the I didn't have the drip. I really didn't. All, all I was was just a girl who just so happened to be a talented dancer, um, and I didn't. Wow, it's so good because now if you look what uh, she has accomplished and listen to what she's saying, she came from a humble home, guys. You know, you know, parents they play a big role, guys, in people's lives. You know, so yeah, we are what we are because of our parents. So yeah, humble to successful. I think he would like me. I thought I was dry. I thought I was too tomboyish. That was also my. <laughs> oh, no, but that really was my thing. <laughs> Tom I was very tomboyish. I didn't I dress the part. <laughs> and she didn't know it, like, cause I was crazy about her, you know. And I was like, oh dang, I don't know. Oh dang. Okay. Oh dang. Oh dang. Oh dang. No, you know they were like they they were they like we're in the east we we're based yeah. in the east we we're based like in the north side north of Joburg yeah. you know so it's like things that happened in the north like we felt like we didn't we from the east weren't really like part of that community mm. and like those girls only dated guys who were like from the, from north, the north or who danced the repertoire or yeah. whatever and like she thought I came from like a very like um, rich well off family yes. and like. I didn't. I was hustling. I was selling like Timberland, selling from fake air forces at the time, you know, to yeah, like right. to like customers at school and stuff, that's you that's know. Good. So it's like through that I was able to hustle like Ed Hardy stuff, you know, just to make sure for like when we rock up at the events, you know, the same way the niggas pulled up with their bathing ape jackets and their watch. I was able to pull up the same way, you know, because I was under the impression that that's like the stuff that she was into, yeah. you know. And um, I'd be so disappointed every time I went to an event. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we're chatting. Yeah, we were great friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, we were very good friends. And um, there was a girl that he was dating at that time. And I was friends with her. So, it was like a... It wasn't even a... There was Yo! It was a love triangle. Some sort. A bonnet, you know. Danger. No triangle of nothing. He was just dating this girl. And oh, I was just a friend who sat in the friend with both of them. Um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then... But they broke up like... Say, top of the year? Yeah, top of the year. Yeah, top of the year, 2009. Um, and then in October of 2009, I... Uh, there was a dude that I was dating at that time. I would dump it on my birthday. On my birthday? On my birthday. <laughs> Steve Harvey. Act like a lady, think like a man. Ah, oh. that's my guy. <laughs> I never, I never knew and you were right. An Aka Joe sweater, sleeveless. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. I don't know. I was there on an exchange, uh, uh, on a, an exchange program, but a dance exchange program. Mm. And um, it, while I was that side, we got to speak on Facebook, and then he was trying to make me jealous. Oh, I don't mm. know, it was just really weird. Fake relationships, I think it worked. Things, whatever. Either way, it did activate something it because. <laughs> hey, Lana, you know if you play with fire, it burns you sometimes, eh? Yes. But anyway, for my guy, it worked. So, eh? It did work because um, when we came back, uh, when I came back to South Africa, came back home, I hit him up. And my favorite song at the time, <laughs> do you remember? Mm -hmm. My God. My favorite song at the time was, there's another girl who dated another guy for a long time, and then, like, this guy didn't marry her or nothing, and anyway. Her name is Cassie, oh. and she had the song where it was called Official Girl. Yeah. And I was a big Little Wayne fan, and Little Wayne, I think, was featured on the remix of one of those songs. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought that the song just on that basis. And yeah, for me, I just, I just loved it because of the messaging, but not directly translated from the song. I just wanted to become his official girl, so I used that terminology or that, that phrasing to say, Whoa. basically, I'm, I'm tired, I like you, yeah. okay? The signal is what? How about? Yeah. Okay, right. Fast forward. Ten years. So I did the right. Whoa, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, I think I'm about to end my video here. Uh, wow. I mean, if you want to hear more about the story, you can go to the channel.